Hello all, I'm recording this video to show you how to set up your Cisco SPA303 phone with PBXs and Google Voice. To link your Google Voice account to PBXs, you will need to use the Android app called SipDroid. There is another tutorial provided by many people for this, so I will not cover that in this video. So, to get my SPA303 phone working with my PBX's account, I created a SIP extension, which is 202, uh, given it a name, and entered a password in for it. The rest of the information is filled in by PBX's once you hit save the initial time. Um, I don't want the forwarding, this call forwarded to another number, so I will leave these blank. However, I do want call waiting and I don't want voicemail so I will select those options as need be alright once I've done that hit submit and it will refresh I will go to my SPA 303 configuration utility using my browser and you will need to get the browse the phone's IP address and enter it in in the address bar and then this page will come up over here you go to admin login and this phone has three ex three lines that can show up so I'm going to set this line extension one up so line yes line enabled should be yes I'm going to set the NAT keep alive enabled to yes uh, if you have voicemail on your line you'll want to set this a enabled to yes I don't have voicemail enabled but uh, some occasions voicemail the voicemail system for PBX is picks up before Google Voice does so I'm gonna turn this on the proxy will be the pbx's.org which is the server name um, you want it to register every 60 minutes or 3600 seconds uh, you don't want to be able to make a call without registering and this will let you know if you're not able if you pick the phone up and there is no dial tone you know that it's not connected to PBX's the display name is what appears on the screen of the phone so since this the name of this extension is the RAM 04-202 I will name it just that um, enter the user ID as the same which is the extension that I created here so it will be this would be the username and the password that I created entered here would go here so I entered chicken I recommend something more complicated for your password. I said use auth uh, uh, ID to yes, just because. Um, if you go to the phone tab, you can name the phone. So name it the RAM. And the display name is what also appears on the screen of the phone as well. This name um, is tied, so if you have other phones on your network, you'll know which phone is which. For PBX's, if you're using the voicemail number, is star 98 to call the voicemail. Um, I don't want to use a screensaver, but if I did, this would be the place to enable it here. Um, I'm going to add other extensions to these line keys, so I want to set line 2 to extension 2 and line 3 to extension 3. And once I've done everything, I, you can also go in and change some of the other settings, including speed dial, the phone, the timing on the that shows time, date and time rather. And after you've done everything else, you hit submit all changes, and you will wait the 50 seconds. And after the 50 seconds, the page will come back up. So once you click the save all settings your phone will begin the reboot process and the lights will do all this fancy dancy on off thing and so now it says initializing network
All right. And if everything is successfully connected, you will see your extension that you added show up on the phone and the light next to that extension light up green. And if you want to make a text call, just press the button. You should hear the dial tone and I'm going to just call the voicemail. And so now you can hear that the phone dials in and out. And so now you know your setup is complete once you're able to dial out.